Hi everyone, this is really a bit more detail about trending rest and how to use it and interpret it. I'll be adding more videos in the future, so this is really just an overview to start with. Right, so we've covered all the main features in Bianca version 2 in a previous video. This one is going to concentrate on the trending rest. Basically what the trending rest does, it's looking for shares which are strongly going up or strongly going down. So obviously you want to be going long on shares that are going up and you want to be thinking about shorting shares which are going down on the theory that shares which are in a trend will continue in that trend for a bit longer but having said that it doesn't always work and trends can always break down so beware okay let's just look at the trending information the by default are in trader mode this means that the channels here are 10 day channels and 20 day channels if you want to go to longer term trends, you go into investor mode and they was, these will make the trends longer. So it will give you more information over a longer term. When you select trending list, it will actually use the information you set up here. So if it's in trader mode, it will look for trends over the short term. If you're in investor mode, it will look for trends over the long term. So for example, let's look at Antofagasta, which is actually quite a nice one. I've got the chart here. We're now in trader mode. And as you can see, the green, which is the 20 day channel, is going up nicely. Also, the red channel is going up nicely and also stronger than the green channel, which is quite a reasonable sign. If we go into investor mode, as you see, we've now switched to 50 days for the red channel and 100 days for the green channel. So, this lets you look at shares over a much longer term. This goes all the way back to December. So, we're looking at sort of getting off six months. I think it's a reasonable time to look over a longer term. And as you can see, this is a nice share because it bounces up and down off the channels. So there are some trading opportunities there. But if you're looking longer term, you may want to buy when it bounces off the bottom of the channel and then hold for the long term. It's up to you. Um, basically, the numbers here are that number there is refers to the support level, which I have that green line there. That number there is support level of the red line that number there is the latest downloaded share price closing price um, to tell you what I do I tend to always just use the green number which is this line down here and if a strongly trending share gets down to that level I see that as a possible strong buying opportunity but warning it can break down and trends do end so be, be careful um, let's just run the trending list analysis so we're currently looking at Antofagasta. When I run trending list, what it actually does is run the trending list for the current selected share category over here. So currently we've got FT100 shares selected. So if I select trending list, it will just go through all 100 FT100 shares. So let's just do that now. Put it into trader mode, trending list. Here, this is the default, which will give you the strongest trending shares. If for some reason the market's going very strongly, you may get a very big list. So what I allow you to do is to filter it to either have only the strongest ones or expand it so you've actually got more shares in there, including some of the weaker ones. So I'll leave it on medium for now. Do OK. This will take a few seconds. That's now gone through the FT100. And that's displayed here. So you know you've done the FT100 and you're in short-term trader mode. These are all the shares that it's found. And in these columns you've got, you got the share code. That's the latest closing price downloaded. That's the support number there. So in this case, if I click on AV, support 30.65, that actually is the same as this number here, but this has just been rounded up to 301. So those two numbers correlate. And similarly, if I go to Barclays 268.79, that's 269, which is rounded up go back to AV. This number here is useful because it tells you how close the current closing share price is to the support level. So if you go on the list you can see that Barclays in this case is only two and a half percent above this level here, this green line level. And also Lloyd's has actually gone minus which means it's gone slightly below. And similarly LSE, which is London Stock Exchange, that's right on its green line level. So that can be a good opportunity but like I said you have to be careful because trends do sometimes break down. Um, the final column here is trend strength and all the trend strength is 
is the gradient of the green line that I've shown here, which is the 20 day channel in trader mode. So Barclays is 2.29, um, AV is 1.72, RBS is 2.29. So the bigger the number, the stronger the trend. Also in this box, if you just, as you've probably seen, if you just click on any share, it'll automatically go to its chart. You can move this off somewhere else on your screen if you want to look at your charts fully. I'll bring it back in just so you can see on the video. Also while this is up you can still click on these buttons here, zoom in and zoom out. So that's useful. Also what you can do is if you've looked at shares in trader mode and you look at your list here, what can be useful is if you go to investor mode and then hit trending list again a few seconds. It will actually analyse all the FT100 shares in investor mode this time. And as you see, there's a slightly different list, but what's interesting is looking for shares which are trending short term in trader mode and trending long term as well. And that includes Bark. So that's probably something I would actually have a look at. Okay, so let's just close this window. If you want to do custom shares, analysis what well, let's say 250 just select 250 and just do exactly the same again if you want to do your custom shares select that you can still go in trader and investor mode so trader trending list this will then just cover your custom shares so remember that trending list and price download will only do the shares in your currently selected list so that's just a warning um, in the uh, custom shares We've got MEC, BOR, GFM. Again, they've all come up as quite strongly trending. And then if we go to investor mode and click trending list again, you'll probably find that we'll have a shorter list. Yeah, we've just got BOR and MEC. Let's go to MEC, which is a popular one, I think. Let's go to MEC. We can now zoom in on MEC. This is an investor mode, so the channels are 50 day and 100 day. And as you can see, it's bouncing off the channels quite nicely. And the support is 4.2. The resistance is 6.8. However, I wouldn't ever see the top of a rising channel as a sell in particular. But I do see the bottom of a channel, the green channel especially, as a possible buying opportunity. So quite often a share will hit the top of the channel and ride along the top. So again, it's not black and white, this game, as we know. So. I think I've covered most issues there, if I just close that window, and hopefully that's given you a reasonable overview of the trending share list and how to use it.